Hi everybody, Jackie here with Jen from 4Core Heating and Air Conditioning. How are you doing today? Good. Good. So today we are talking about boilers and steam versus like hot water. So this mm -hmm. is different than forced air heating and cooling through right. a duct system. Right. So tell me a little bit about boilers and, and, and steam and, and how that worked. I know mm -hmm. it's kind of a thing of the past. It is. Uh, steam is, is old technology, but that's where they started um, with the bigger homes. Um, in the past, uh, you'd have a steam boiler in the basement, and you can tell if you have a sight glass on the side of your boiler that shows you the um, uh, water level. I don't think you can see it quite in this picture, but you do see uh, a blowdown valve, and that, that on the side there on the right, that's a low water cutoff device to protect the, um, yeah, that black box there. That's a, that's a uh, feeder possibly, or, and uh, I'm sure there's a low water uh, sensing device uh, in there somewhere, but this is um, a steam boiler, and it maintains a water level in the boiler, and it sends steam up to, through the radiation, and that's how we heat the uh, house. The steam goes up to the radiation, and in its change of state from steam back to water is where it gives up all its heat. But as I said, Jackie, that's old older technology if you have an older home you might have a steam boiler in your house that's the way it was done I'm uh, guessing a lot of older big money homes from the past Cleveland has a rich industrial past and there's right. a lot of homes that probably have that they do they do you know and yeah. then uh, after that that was steam was the first generation then we moved on to hot water or we'll call hydronics okay. where it's still a radiant type heat uh, baseboard type heat but instead of steam we're flooding the system with water now and heating that water up to 180 degrees and we run that water through the radiation through the piping system and this is is how the heat's accomplished in a hot water system your hot water system will have a pump uh, where your steam system has a sight glass there will be no no sight glass on on this type of boiler so is the hot water more efficient than, than the steam system? It is. It's easier to control. That's for well, sure. That's steam steam will take the path of least resistance, and sometimes you'll find in older steam applications, hot and cold spots, they have a hard time balancing it. Or hot water through pumps and valves, we can direct the water flow uh, pretty easily to the areas that we want to heat. Yeah. And uh, uh, so hot water and hydronics is the way... Uh, it, is the way of the future and today in the floor loops they have a uh, uh, plastic uh, piping or tubing that we put in the floors and your whole floor becomes your heat source wow. so there's not a cold spot in the room it sounds uh, like that's very the most maybe the most efficient source of full heating that would be the most desirable if yeah. you had your wish list and you said okay I'm building a new home and I want uh, the most comfortable heat source that I can turning your floor basically into your heating pad uh, anywhere you sit on that floor lay on that floor the, the whole room's warm yeah. and uh, but that's again hydronic it can be zoned we talked about zoning at one time uh, you can uh, put zone valves on the hydron and you can run cooler bedrooms and warmer wow. living areas you, you can split the house up into more thermostats it just sounds like there's much more control for the comfort level each person is different right some people yes. might like it a little warmer a little colder and they have more control when you use the hot water hydronic system they do and the, th the unfortunate thing though is both of these boilers require maintenance okay, okay. Um, you you have fireside maintenance we got to have clean burners clean pilot clean chambers uh, so that's very important and anytime you're mixing water and heat uh, there's maintenance of the pump, right. the valves. Uh, so this has to. There's probably a little bit more maintenance required of boiler systems uh, that you have to keep in mind. Now, in a steam system, if they have the old mechanical controls, those require weekly uh, maintenance of, wow. of, of from the customer. They have to blow them down uh, so that they don't build up mud and sediment in areas. That's on steam and some of the older controls okay. that, that came on this. Uh, but uh, for the most part, here again, I would recommend yearly maintenance on your boiler uh, to keep it in the best condition that it should be in. In the best condition. And so, so that ma that's maintenance that you would come in and do for the hydronic system, but annually versus 
weekly customer maintenance on the steamer right. piece um, in addition to probably having you guys come out annually as well. Right, and if we go out there and if it's a steam system, uh, we can educate the customer on what they would need to do weekly and monthly through the heating season and we can identify, tell them what they've got and educate them on what they do have. Great. So if you guys have a boiler or a radiator heating system in, in your home, think about doing um, a hydronic system with, with hot water or maybe a floor loop. Those are very much the most desirable options. But if you're in an older home with a steamer, four core heating can definitely help you out and educate you to make sure that you're um, giving that the right maintenance to you know get the real value out of it. Uh, you can give Jim four core a call for any questions that you may have or to set up an appointment and have them come and help set this up in your home. You can also visit them online at fourcoreheating.com and see all their services as well as the areas they service there. Thank you so much. Thanks.